welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration. For those of you new, my name is Barry. So, what we're going to do today? Well, today we're going to put the diff back in the gearbox. And we're going to get it ready so that when we've got another deal like this, we get that garage emptied, get that in the tractor, and go in. Job sold. Let's crack on. So let's start by having a look down in here. We've fully greased this bearing up like I said we're going to do. I've put some more grease into this bearing this morning. I've lubed these up with a bit of grease. I haven't lubed the faces because I want the faces dry to compact. The two bearings in here, either side, this one, I can get access to it underneath with my finger. So I've packed this with grease, packed the top with grease. The other one, the opposite side, was packed out with grease. We're going to pop the diff onto the carrier. Then we're going to install the caps and the adjustment nuts. Then we're going to take the caps off and lube the caps up because these threads will keep the adjustment nuts in place. But that's the plan. Then we're going to bolt this down. Then we're going to check for backlash between the pinion and the crown wheel. Then we're going to tighten the nuts down on here to 120 foot pounds. 15 sixteenths. Right, let's get on. So we're going to do this side first, because if you remember, this side on the diff has got the shaft that sticks out. And we can't put the cap in afterwards. It has this got to go onto the diff and get lowered into position. As you can see, we're still here. Well, answers technique, still sound as a pound. Everything's locked up nice. I might need a little spanner for that. But we're gonna we're gonna pop this in. Then we're gonna take the cap off. This will stay in place. We're gonna lube the inside of here, pop it back together. But with everything in place. So, right, we'll take the wire off. Keep the wire though. It's always good for hanging bits on for painting. Right, make sure we've got the right orientation. everything is sitting nicely before we start and pull us back to bits right now Nice rotation there. Okay, let's get this cap off. As I say, this adjustment nut will stay in the right place due to the bottom thread. Greased up. I don't want a lot on here, I just want enough to lube the threads and prevent a bit of surface rust because again, we don't know how long this is going to sit. Alright. And this is side one cap one so a little bit of lube in there put a just a smidgen on them studs so the studs don't go rusty and seize in 
Now if you remember, we already set a preload on this with Lance's technique. So that's that side. Take this side off now. And we'll just loosen that little clip. Everything's just getting absolutely caked in grease. I'm sick of things gone rusty. So again, pop that down onto there. Not into contact with the bottom thread. These have got a bit of oil in them, but for whatever reason, the oil doesn't want to stick. Get the threads. Because once, once this goes in, this is never going to move. Right. That's that back in. Okay. Nuts and washers. So we've got here our little star washers. We go on our 15 16 nuts. I got me a bit of wood underneath me skateboard as well here because this now will be an absolute ton weight. All these, as you can see, have been all wire brushed, cleaned up. Pop them back on there. 120 foot pounds, these. upside down go. pop that on right, give me hands a little bit of a wipe right just nipping these nothing more Don't want them too tight. Not at this stage. Okay. Now, backlash. There isn't any backlash there at all at the minute. Spanner. See me spanner? <laughs> Didn't fit in that one, does it? If I move this adjustment nut out, I have to move this adjustment nut in by the same amount in order to keep the preload the same on those bearings but I need to get a bit of free play in there so you can then set the backlash backlash between 7 and 9 thou on here okay so let's have a look one two three four, five, six, six castles, six in on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six,
Now that obviously has moved and it was too tight to start with because the whole diff cage has sunk in as it's gone down the pinion. So let's have another sixer. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel that pulling back up on the bearings? cage again yep that's dropped again yeah that's it let's go for another six one two three four five six One, two, three, four, five, six. There. We are starting to get, you can hear it. So. DTI on let's just we're going to tighten these I'm just going to check them give me a little in it there there you darling a lovely little song you're singing there See that? That to me means eleven thou. Still eleven thou. So we're going to take this side back one turn, one nut. One castellation and turn this one in one castellation. I'm going to zero the clock. Um, hope you can see that clock there. 12, 2, 12, 11 and a half, 1 and a half, so it's still it's 10 thou that one. So it looks like we're getting 2 thou per castellation. We'll do the maths on this later on. How many is there actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 castellations. One ball. One ball. 
Zero o'clock. That's the worst in it with these. Half a thou. Half a thou. Eight. One and a half. Eight and a half. One. Eight and a half. Half. Eight and a half. Half. Eight and a half. So, we're looking at about 8,000 there. Between 7 and 9 was a backlash. Happy with that. That's going to now get locked up. Okay. I'm happy with that now. One more check. Seventh hour. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the pin, I'm going to rotate a quarter of a return, I'm going to do it again. Nine thou, one and a half. That's seven and a half thou. Play there, because what you got, you got to be careful of run out in the crown wheel. That's seven and a half thou there. So we'll do it again. Okay, zero on the counter, that's minus half a thou. Three and a half thou, twelve and a half thou. That's nine, see that? Twelve and a half thou, three thou and a half. That's nine thou so there's like there must be a two thou drift on this which is acceptable still within tolerance plus half a thou Get that clock to zero is a nightmare. Three eight and a half. Three and eight and a half. That's five and a half thou, isn't it? There's quite a bit of uh Bit of play on that wheel and that on the crown wheel so it's going from five and a half thou to nine it's got a five thou wobble on it five no four thou got a four thou wobble on it but you know what that's going to be good by the time we get this tightened down we'll check it again and it might average itself out right let's have Let's have a keep our plates put on. Now these don't be don't need to be incredibly tight because all they're doing is stopping that nut turning. Now we we'll knock the lock up 
this side. Just need to tweak that a touch in order to get it to be right. That's it, a touch, of, there's just a touch in all mine. Tiny little bit. face to that and we've got a flat face to that not that it matters but it's just easy and nice isn't it okay let's have another look at this eighteen and a half twelve and a half that's six thou there. Fifteen and a half. Seven, fourteen, six and a half, fourteen and a half, six and a half, fourteen and a half. That's seven. I'm on the tight side of the tolerance here, but I'm happier to be on the tight side as the loose side. Thirteen five, thirteen four and a half, twelve and a half, four. Right. Two and a half, three, ten, two and a half, nine and a half, two and a half, two, nine. So it's seven thou, right? So we've got an average of seven thou there. I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now, take the clock off and we'll tighten these down to 120 but we'll not do that standing up because it, it'll be impossible to do it standing up and we'll tighten them down I get a load of grease whacked onto this pinion keep everything safe in there and then we'll get it laid flat and we'll get these dogged up. Okay. This is you know it's going to happen because if this starts to move you're not going to stop it okay yeah that's good With that right. There's that shit. Get a load of grease on it.
just having a look in there for the contact pattern. You can check the contact pattern by putting some micrometer blue on and spinning the crown wheel and you'll see where if you put the micrometer blue on the pinion you'll see where it comes off on the crown wheel but if you look on the crown wheel you'll see what you want is the contact pattern to be middle of the tooth that way and about two thirds of the tooth down you don't want it right in the bottom and you don't want it right up at the top you don't want it at the nose and you don't want it at the heel now let's get this laid on his back get things tightened up right this is newton meters this is pound feet this is going to be 162 140 154 is the next one 54 64 8 right that's what up there let's see if we can get this up to strength Is that a turn? Still good, still good to go. Right. We'll do that a couple of minutes. To settle. Okay. On. Two. Washes down now.
gearbox back together. We need these, don't we? They need to be put up. Both sides. Okay. Right, that's it. Gearbox back together, different place, backlash set, preload on this cage was already previously set. I've got no reason to suspect that the end float on those shafts in there will be excessive. However, pop it back on the tractor and we will check it. I know it's going to be too late in, but the thing is I don't think there's going to be a major problem with end float on them bearings. Right, well thank you very much for popping by. Um, that's it for today. What I'm gonna do now is hopefully the weather tomorrow will be the same. We'll get this into the tractor tomorrow, get caught up with a few jobs on it, get this off the floor, more importantly out the way, into the tractor and um, we can sort out the little bits and pieces around it then, can't we? And we'll see if we can actually get that front nut up to 200. We'll see, we'll see. Right, remember, don't overthink it. It's just nuts and bolts. See you in the next one. Bye now.